Hello, my very most beautiful Sagittarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, my lovelies, we are going to be doing your August bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So, whoever you're thinking about, Sag, that is who this reading is intended for. Now, it is still a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know will be in the description box below for you. You guys can also follow me over on Patreon now. I do additional readings over there. Spiritual growth, personal development, money and career, as well as love readings. And there's a link for that in the description box below. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Sagittarius, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Sagittarius energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, so let's take a look and see what is going on for you. We have jealousy. Trust. Chemistry. And I don't know what to do. There isn't even a ton of the one-worded cards. So it's always interesting to me when some, when we, you know, get a lot of them at one time. And then we have past life at the bottom of the deck. So between this past life and this chemistry energy, I do, I do kind of feel like this is a very like strong, intense connection. Okay. It could feel very destined. It could feel um, like you guys just have known each other for your whole lives. It's like a very intense connection. Okay. And it does kind of feel like Maybe you guys have had past lives together before. Maybe that it is why it feels like you guys know you know have known each other for a long time. Maybe because you have. Um, and sometimes with that past life card too, it can it can also resonate in a way of somebody bringing their kind of past traumas, past relationship stuff into the current moment. So somebody who is like punishing new people with for past people's stuff because of stuff that they've been through. So it can also resonate that way. But with this jealousy, trust, chemistry, I don't know what to do. It's like something, if somebody is very intense. It feels very overwhelming. They may not even know how to communicate it. And maybe that's why it's all these one-worded energies. Um, it, it just feels like a lot. We're going to have to get into this and see what's going on here. So I don't know if you're the jealous person and this person is like, I'm not sure how to handle this or if they're, you know, if they are jealous over you. There's definitely some trust stuff going on here and there's like an undeniable attraction, an undeniable, an undeniable chemistry between the two of you. Show me this person's headspace. What are their thoughts towards Sagittarius, the Three of Swords? The Tower something happened here in the ace of swords i don't think it's a coincidence that it's coming out under jealousy somebody could have even went back to a past connection too um whew, somebody could have went back to a past connection here something definitely went down and i feel like oh sad so i'm not sure if they hurt you because they went back to a past connection here or if you decided to go back to another connection, a past connection and you know they're the ones that are hurting with these realizations. We're going to have to continue on and see what's what's going on here. Show me this person's heart space. What are their feelings towards Sagittarius? What are their feelings towards Sagittarius? Got the judgment card. It also kind of wanted to come out in the reverse, so I'm not sure. I think that goes more with this energy of not really knowing what to do, not being sure. The judgment card can also talk about a call to action. It can also talk about a reconciliation as well, something being resurrected, the Ten of Wands. And the Seven of Swords, it's coming out under this trust energy. So guys, it like the roles can be reversed. Just keep that in mind, okay? But this kind of feels like to me that this person could have hurt you, okay? And they're thinking about here. They're thinking about how they messed things up here. Um, now, especially now that you know the truth, I do feel like this person has 
for a lot of them has chosen to go back to a past connection, even though that connection wasn't good for them, even though this connection is something that, you know, it's showing up as a ton of wands, something that really weighed them down. It was a lot of burdens. It was, it was a struggle. This connection was a struggle. And there was a lot of dishonesties and stuff. And I feel like now there's a lack of trust between the two of you. Show me this person's true intentions. What are their true intentions when it comes to Sagittarius? What are their true intentions? Got the world card. Got the six of cups. The hangman. Mm, two of wands. I feel like this person's having regrets. This person's regretting their decision here. The hermit kind of shining the light, light down on the whole situation. I feel like this person is having some regrets of their choice. I do feel like they want to end. Their intention is to end whatever connection that they had, that past connection with that six of cups. But they feel, they could feel very stuck in it or they could feel like, there's no going backwards. Like there's no way that Sagittarius is going to take me back after, after I did that, after I went to that past person, after I left them or that kind of an energy, you know, after, after all of this, there's no way that Sagittarius is going to take me back. So they could be feeling very stuck, but the two of wands talks about needing to make a decision and picking a path. The world card and the six of cups closing out a past cycle. And maybe they needed to go back to this one more time and, and you know, have that, you know, sometimes that, sometimes we do. Sometimes we, unfortunately, people learn lessons, you know, the hard way. Myself included, I have definitely done, you know, I've definitely learned lessons the hard way where we knew better, but we just had to go back one more time and make it that last, you know, that last lesson, last confirmation. Now, just because this person wants to come back and has learned their lesson doesn't mean that you're entitled to give them your energy. Only you get to decide what's best for you, okay? And maybe you want to, and that's okay. That's, it's only, only you get to decide what is best for you guys to be doing here. Okay, this is just showing you where they're at with things. They definitely regret their decision. Um, they definitely regret their decision. And now they don't know what to do now. Four of Cups are worried that you're going to reject them because of what they've done here. What actions will they be taking? The lovers are making a major decision. They do worry that you're going to reject them. The, they can't stop. They can't stop. Think, like they can't. How do I want to put it? They can't forget about you and the intensity of the connection that you guys shared. I feel like they had some last lessons that they had to go and learn. The Five of Pentacles, I do feel like they are going to be leaving this person behind. With that Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like they're making a major decision to do that. The Chariot, they're ready to move forward. I do feel like they want to move towards you, but they're not sure how they're going to be received. The Page of Wands, I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. You have the Strength card, finding the courage to reach out. The Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. They definitely regret their decision here, Sagittarius. But this is what I have for you. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead with a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.